law, dictatorship. These are all the kinds of Orwellian visions being discussed by some on Twitter and elsewhere since President Obama did something unexpected Friday. Chief National Correspondent Jim Engel has details. President Obama quietly signed an executive order Friday night that extends for one year a string of executive orders going back to President Clinton in 1994. This White House, however, has been known to release embarrassing documents on topics such as Solyndra on Friday nights, so the move immediately generated suspicions the president was trying to expand his powers. The problem is there is an appearance of expansion here, and I think this is where the White House owes Congress and the American people a bit more of an explanation of why now. The White House says it was nothing out of the ordinary. I cannot explain that reaction to it. I think it was a fairly uh, standard and routine uh, piece of business. One person steeped in the legal basis for such orders puts it this way. All this document is is a plan to make a plan uh, in case of emergencies, national defense, other kinds of emergencies. Some think it's a reference to Iran. Carney would only say this. We are aggressively pursuing a policy focused on tightening sanctions against Iran, uh, increasing the pressure on Iran, and increasing the isolation of, of the Iranian regime. Nevertheless, parts of the executive order leave some critics wondering. The president can direct private companies, private elements of our infrastructure to give things up or to do things without regard to due process. Legal experts, however, say it's simply planning for emergencies using powers originally granted by Congress. The uh, roots of it maybe go back to World War II when the uh, government essentially ordered industry to shift from making things like cars and refrigerators to making airplanes, boats, tanks, ships. Rothstein says even if this or any other president sought to expand his powers, he would face huge obstacles. Congress would act uh, private industry or private citizens could take it to court. Congress could take it to court. Our system, Rothstein says, has lots of safeguards built into it. In Washington, Jim Angle, Fox News.